Hello, and welcome back to the 86th Street Performing Arts Center. I forgot to start out with my little sunglasses on. Here they are. It's July, and I'm celebrating uh, American music, uh, but I'm actually not singing in this video. This is a bonus. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about me and my ukulele. I call us a uke and a lady, and I decided to name her Eulika. I decided that she was a girl. Look at how pretty she is. Is this not a beautiful instrument? And, oh, my husband just came home from work. Yes, I am married. We have no kids. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> I started playing the ukulele in, what year was that? 2018. And it was... Uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. I was teaching voice lessons at the time, and one of my students had mentioned to me that the ukulele was fun to play and easy to learn. And I, I took that, I filed it in the back of my mind. And not too long after that, uh, the Bible study leader, the Bible study that I was attending, asked me if I would uh, lead music and be the worship leader. I said no. <laughs> I told this to somebody and she said, oh, you said no to Pastor Tim? <laughs> yeah, I said no. Uh, because my thinking was, I'm not a worship leader. I'm, a, I'm an opera singer. I sing classical music. I, I don't know how to do it, how to be a worship leader. And I even told Pastor Tim that he should have Nancy, my friend Nancy, do it. I said, Nancy would be really good at this. She's done it before. She's got CDs for us to sing along with. And um, two weeks later, when we had our next Bible study, Pastor Tim asked me again, would you please lead our music? And I said, okay, I'll do it. I kid you not. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> like, okay, I'll do it. I'll get a ukulele and I'll lead the singing. And <laughs> it's so funny now to think back on how annoying I was. <laughs> because now I like, it's something that I love to do. And so I... I have done that since 2018. I have played my instrument since 2018. And playing the ukulele fulfilled a, a, a longing. Oh, dear, my light went out. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. Uh, playing the ukulele fulfilled a longing that I didn't realize it was going to fill. I used to play the violin when I was growing up. Um, I started sometime in mid-elementary school and played in the school orchestra in elementary school and junior high school and high school and college. And I played in a couple of church orchestras even after college. Well, um, many years ago, was it 20 or so years ago, I gave my violin to my cousin because he wanted his children to play. And it was hard for me to give that violin up. Uh, the first time that he asked the family, did anybody have a violin? I ignored him. <laughs> I, and I wasn't even playing the instrument at the time. <clears throat> but uh, I thought, well, no, it's mine. I might play it again. It's mine and I want to keep it. A year later, he asked again, and I knew it was time for me to give up the instrument. So I gave the instrument to my cousin, and his children played. Now, in the last 
uh, let's see, probably, I don't know, probably started in 2016, I wanted to play an instrument again. And I was thinking, well, maybe I could play the violin again, and maybe I will ask my cousin if he still has the instrument and if I could get it back. Well, then I got my ukulele, and I started playing it. And I don't need to get my violin back now. This has fulfilled the need for me to play an instrument. I have been playing it since September of 2018, and I love it. Um, I've, been, I've been playing it for Bible study, and I started playing it uh, to accompany myself also. The first time that I did that in public was in August of 2019. I did a recital here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where I live. And I had written some uh, arrangements of some songs for voice and ukulele, and I accompanied myself on my instrument. Uh, I had a pianist also, because a lot of the other songs that I sang were uh, piano accompaniment. But uh, yeah, August 2019 was the first time that I played my ukulele, accompanied myself in public. And then, who knew that I was really going to need this last year? I didn't have access to uh, an accompanist unless I asked them to record something for me. And I didn't want to use an already recorded CD that could have copyright issues. So, I started accompanying myself uh, on YouTube with my lovely instrument, Eureka, and I have been enjoying this a great deal. I hope you have enjoyed it also. Um, I'd love to hear your comments below in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think of a uke and a lady, because uh, this is really different. <laughs> um, a, a classically trained soprano singing classical style music accompanying herself on the ukulele. I don't think anybody else is doing that. So, I'm okay with being the first. <laughs> Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time at the 86th Street Performing Arts Center. Thanks. Bye.